welcome to the 360 degree sculpt. Today's toning class is going to be all about completely sculpting and strengthening your entire upper body, which will include targeting the shoulders, triceps, biceps, your chest, and your upper back. Throughout this workout today, I want you to think about the phrase, if there's a will, there's a way. Think about this concept whenever your muscles begin to feel fatigued and the idea of giving up becomes more of an easier road. Your will to succeed, to prove to yourself that you are capable of achieving anything you put your heart and soul into, is so much greater than anything else that the mind may present to you. For this workout, you will need a set of dumbbells, your mat, and of course, your incredible willpower to succeed. So if you're ready to get started, let's begin. Alright, to begin our day 6 workout today, we're going to start seated at the center of your mat, extending the arms up to the sky, make a fist, and then you're going to extend the hands. So just pump it out, 2, 3, 4, fist and extend. 7, 8, 9, 10, warming up the wrist, warming up the hands. We're going to do a lot of work today in the upper body and the shoulders, your wrists, so we're going to make sure that your body is ready for the exercises. Keep going, extend, extend, out, in, out, in, out, in. You can make this as fast or slow as you like. Start to feel that blood rushing through the arms there. Keep going a few more times. And last five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder rolls. Go ahead and place your hands on the shoulders and roll it back for two. Big circles with the elbows. Four, five, great job. Six, and seven, eight, nine. One more time. Great, now reverse the direction. Same thing to the front for 10. See how big you can make this circle with your arms, warming up those shoulder joints. Good, a few more times. Big circle and around. Last one. And then from here, releasing both arms up towards the sky, inhale, grabbing one elbow with the other hand, and just staying here. Think about pulling that elbow as close to the head as possible. Really getting into that tricep area. Great, deep breath in. Lengthen out through the spine. Nice and strong here. Exhale out. Let's switch hands, so same thing, just grab the other elbow. Releasing that hand to the back of your neck as you continue to pull the elbow towards the side of your face or even behind your head slightly, whatever feels good here, as long as you're feeling a gentle stretch through the tricep muscle. Great, another inhale. Exhale, let's release. Reach the arms up and then bring yourself over into plank position. We're gonna do a plank circles. To modify, bring yourself down to your knees. Otherwise, you're gonna come up into a full plank position and start to draw a circle with your body. So bringing your weight to the right, forward and around. Very small circles, but your whole body is engaged here. Good, to the right and around, and then reverse the circle to the left. Five times four, circle three. Really start to feel the weight changing from one hand to the other. Great, and then from here, drop down to your knees and slowly sit back into your child's pose. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out. And again, one more deep breath in. Exhale out. As you give your body a quick little break here, feel free to shake out those hands or stretch them out. Breathing deeply into the chest, inhale. And as you exhale, roll yourself up to your all fours position. You're gonna tuck your toes and then bring yourself up into a downward facing dog. Great, just holding this downward facing dog, feeling the stretch through the upper body, allowing your sternum to fall towards the mat. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, elongate the spine. Good, deep breath in, 
Now from here, all we're going to do in a downward facing dog is drop the elbows to the floor and then extend the elbows. So you tap the elbows down and extend. So almost like you're coming into dolphin and then downward dog. Dolphin and dog. Good. Elbows down, extend. Touch the elbows, extend. So just a little tap of the elbows. Extend, really starting to feel the triceps working, the shoulders. This is an incredible exercise for your entire upper body. Keep going, tap the elbows, and up. Tap the elbows, and slowly from here, come back into plank. Drop down to your elbows now, holding that elbow plank position. Bring your feet together at this time. And when you're ready, we're going to lift the pelvis up towards the sky into a dolphin position. On your exhalation, you're gonna drop back down into plank for one. Bring it up and then exhale, drop it down for two. Now to work the upper body a little bit more here, when you come down into an elbow plank, see if you can bring the chest even lower towards the mat. So still remaining straight with the body, but get down low. Good, bring it up, exhale, bring it down. So the further you can go down with the chest, the more you're going to feel this along the shoulders in your upper body. A great way to tone the shoulders and the arms a few more times. Come on down, bring it up, and come on down. Inhale, lift the hips up, hold it. And slowly from here, walk your feet a little bit closer towards you. Taking a deep breath in, holding your dolphin pose for a moment here. Really feel that stretch, inhale. Exhale. Wonderful, and again, deep breath in. Exhale, drop down to your elbow plank. This time, we're going to release the hands, come on up into your high plank, and then bring it down elbow, elbow. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. So you're transitioning from a high plank to a low plank. And elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow. So keep breathing. Try not to move the body too much. Staying as still as possible as you move your elbows and your hands to and from the mat. Keep going. Good, and elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Keep going, a few more times left. You're doing an amazing job. Come on down to your elbows, and you are done. Drop the knees, and sit back into your child's pose. Taking a quick little break here, deep breath in through your nose. On your exhalation, we're going to come up to your hands and knees. At this time, let's grab one dumbbell. And staying on knees and hands, you're going to extend your left leg and just bring it up. Good, hold it there. Now take your dumbbell into your right hand and bring it in front of you, bent at about 45 degrees. You're gonna open and close. So you're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade and bring it down. Open the elbow and close. Open and close. Really targeting that scapula here, squeezing that shoulder blade in towards your body as you lift the elbow up. Open and close. Open and close. Keep breathing. As we're doing this exercise, we're still engaging through the core by holding this position, holding that back leg out. If at any point you begin to feel off balance, you can always drop that knee to the floor and modify. Keep going. Open the elbow and in. Open and in last few times open and in last time bring it in awesome tricep extensions bring that elbow back and just bend the elbow extend the elbow and bend for two extend and three try not to swing that arm glue the inner part of your arm to the side of your body just extend the elbow bend the elbow extend it and bend it Working the tricep muscle here, just breathing through it. See if you can continue to keep that leg out so you're engaging your core muscles. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Last few times. Last three. Extend it out for two. One, great job. Now bring that knee down, sitting back to your heels as you extend the arm forward. Bring that arm through and extend the leg back. 
So the whole time the dumbbell does not touch the floor. Sit back, reach forward, bring it up, extend back for two. Wonderful, nice and controlled here. Do not rush through this movement. Try to move in a fluid motion. Reach it forward as you step back. Bring it up and extend the arm. Reach it forward, sit back. Up to your knees, extend the leg and arm. Reach it forward. And extend. Reach it forward. And extend. A few more times left. Reach it forward, don't touch the floor. Bring it around. And again, reaching forward. Tricep extension as you extend the leg back. Last one, reach it forward. Extend it back. Now from here, just pulsing the arm back. Two, three, four. Just keep working from the shoulder, staying stable, engaging through the core. Last few pumps. Three, two, one, great job, drop the weight. Come on down into your child's pose. Take a quick break here before we repeat the entire set of exercises on the other leg. Deep breath in and exhale out. Just take a moment for yourself. Feel free to shake out your arms if you need to. Grab a drink of water if you have to. Let's take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, come on up into your all fours position. Go ahead and grab the dumbbell with your other hand now. We're going to start by extending the right leg out away from you. Square off the shoulders and the hips. And then attach your upper arm to the side of your body. Your elbow is bent at about 45 degrees. We're going to open to the side, squeezing that scapula and bring it in. Open to the side and in for two. Side and in. Working that shoulder blade. Squeezing here. Toning up our upper back. Keep going. Squeeze and center. Squeeze and center. Squeeze and center. Remember, you can modify this exercise by keeping both knees on the mat the entire time. You don't have to take this version if it's too difficult for you. Keep going. Open and center. Open and center. Open and center. Open and center. Center. Keep squeezing that shoulder blade each time you bring that elbow out to the side. Maintaining that 45 degree bent in your arm. Awesome. Now extend the arm back. Tricep extensions. Bring it in and extend for one. Bend the elbow. Extend for two. Bend the elbow and three. Bring it in and four. Remember not to swing that arm. You want to keep the upper area of your arm glued to the side of your body. Simply extend the elbow and bend the elbow. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Keep going. Extend and bend. Release and in. Release and in. Last few times. Keep going. Pulling the navel into the spine so you're engaging through the core muscles the entire time here. Great. Last one. Awesome. Now releasing the knee all the way down, sit back to your heels. You're going to extend that arm forward, then bring it up, extend the arm and the leg back. Bring it down, sit to your heels, reach the arm forward, and then up for two. Remember not to let the dumbbell touch the floor at any point of this exercise. Extend. Bring it forward. And extend. Awesome. Keep going. Bring it forward and extend bring it forward and release bring it forward and release bring it forward and release good keep going a few more times at your own pace here really controlling the movement of your body do not rush good now extend in the arm just pulse the arm back. Two, three, pulse it four, five from the shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it forward and drop your dumbbell to the floor, sitting back into your child's pose and taking a break here. Wonderful job. Take this moment for yourself. We're going to have one minute break. You can take a drink of water if you need to. 
You can just stay in your child's pose and breathe. You can shake out your arms, stretch out your body, do whatever feels good for you right now. All right, if you're taking a drink of water, make sure you come back to your mat again, sitting back into your child's pose. Taking a couple more deep breaths in, inhale, exhale. And slowly from here, round up through each vertebra of your spine as you come on up to your all fours position. And then from here, extend the legs all the way out into your plank and make sure your feet are staying apart. Shoulder taps, simply shift your weight to one side, tap the shoulder and then switch for two. Switch and switch. So you're just shifting the weight from the right side to the left side and tapping the shoulder. Keep going. Again, try to stay very still in your lower body here. Very little movement. Just tap the shoulders and transfer your weight from side to side. Good job, keep going. Tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. Great job, now from here bring your feet together, and then bending the knees and bringing your hips as far back as possible, as if you're trying to sit on top of your heels, your back is straight. Take a deep breath in, exhale, shoot to plank, push up, and then back into that position. Again, shoot out to plank, push up, and then hips back to the heels, that's two. Exhale, bring it forward, plank. Drop the knees to the floor if you like to modify, otherwise stay in the full push-up position. Bring it forward, push up, center, bend the knees. Shoot out forward, lots of power. Give me a push-up here. And hips back to the heels, keep going. Exhale, plank, push-up. And bring yourself back down. Exhale, plank. Bring it down into a push-up. Bring it up. Bend the knees and sit back. Shoot out to plank. Bring your chest down. Bring yourself up. Bend the knees, sit back. A few more times, just like this. Breathe through it. If you're getting too tired, drop to the knees for your push-up. Modify if you have to. Exhale, plank. Bring yourself down. Bring yourself up and bend the knees. And last time, let's bring ourselves into plank. From here, start to release the chest, but this time come on down with your belly onto the floor and readjust yourself so you're directly over top of your mat. From here, just roll out those shoulders a little bit. Just give yourself a quick little break. Shake out those wrists if you have to. And once you're ready, we're going to come into a position with the arms called cactus arms. Simply, you're going to bring the arms to the side and keep the elbows bent at about 45 degrees. From this position, on your exhalation, simply lift the chest up, bring it down. Exhale, lift the chest up, bring the forehead down. Keep the arms out to the side. Open and down. Open and down. Very nice. Keep going. Open and down, open, and down. Working the back muscles here, strengthening your rectus spinae muscle, a muscle that controls the movement of your spine. Keep going, bring it up, and down. Bring it up, and hold it there. Now from here, extend the arms forward, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Reach forward and squeeze. Try to keep the chest off the mat, and squeeze. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze, reach and squeeze, reach and squeeze, keep going, and squeeze, and squeeze, a few more times, keep reaching ahead of you, and then bringing those elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, that's your last one, and release, awesome, bend the elbows, and just stay with your forehead down, and just roll those shoulders very gently side to side giving your body a quick little break. And then from here, we're going to extend both arms next to the side of your body. Deep breath in, 
on your exhalation, you're going to lift the arms and legs off the mat. I like to call this the airplane pose. Just like an airplane taking off the ground, you're lifting up. Lift those arms, lift the legs up even higher and higher. Stay there, breathe, and then pump it. Two, three, both arms and legs at the same time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep going. Three, two, one, and release. Great job. Bring it down. Bring your feet together. And just take a moment to readjust yourself. Make sure your elbows are pointing up towards the sky. Opening the chest into your upward facing dog and then tuck your toes underneath and just holding this position for a moment. Upward facing dog with your toes tucked under. Deep breath in. On your exhalation, you're going to stay exactly where you are. You're going to bend the elbows and drop down into a plank and then extend the arms. So it's like a upward dog push up and up. Bend the elbows, think of forehead to the floor, and then extend up. Bend the elbows and up. So your lower body does not move at all. You're simply bending the elbows, bringing the forehead down, and then opening into an upward dog. Bring it down and open. Feeling that engagement through the triceps here and open. Bring it down and open. Bring it down and open. Hold it there and then releasing into your downward facing dog. Just take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Go ahead and find those dumbbells and we're just gonna place the dumbbells closer to our bodies for the next exercise. So come on down to your back. However, at this time we are gonna take a quick little break so you can give your body the rest it needs. Grab a drink of water, do whatever you gotta do. If you like to stay on the mat, simply pull the knees into the chest and just take a moment to connect to your breath. Breathing deeply through your nose, inhale and exhale. Take this moment for yourself now. you're grabbing a drink of water, if you are standing doing anything else, go ahead and come back down to your mat if you're not already there and give yourself a hug. We're going to start with our next exercise from here. We're going to stay on the back and just work through the core and the shoulders. So take another deep breath in and when you're ready, let's come on up. Go ahead and grab both of your dumbbells, bring your feet onto the mat. And then bring those legs into tabletop position. Drop the head down and extend the arms out. First, we're going to begin with a butterfly, opening the arms to the side, bring it in, bring the weights forward, open the wrists, bicep curl, bring the wrist parallel and down. Again, butterfly open. Exhale, crunch it forward, opening the wrists. Now bicep curl, bring the wrist parallel, bring it down again. Butterfly and close. Crunch up. Open the hands. Bicep curl. Bring the hands parallel and down. Butterfly. Exhale, close. Crunch up. Open. Bicep curl. Bring it center and down. Butterfly. Close. Crunch. Open the wrist. Bicep curl. Bring it down. Hands parallel and release. Butterfly and close and reach up. Open the hands, bicep curl. Bring the hands parallel and release it back down a few more times. Open, close, bring it up, crunch. Use the core, open, bicep curl and turn the hands down. Release, great job, keep going. Following this momentum, Finding your breath here, make sure you're breathing throughout the whole exercise. Bring it center and bring it down. Butterfly open, bring it to center, crunching up. Open the hands, 
bicep curl, hands parallel, and slowly down, butterfly, and close, bring it forward, open, nice and controlled here, don't rush the movement, bring it center, and release the head, wonderful job, let's go ahead and crunch up, now open the hands, just bicep curls for one, bicep curl for two, stay up with your upper body, so you're engaging the core, pulling the navel into the spine as the legs stay in tabletop position. So again, we're working the core at the same time as we're working those biceps. Keep going, bring it in and extend. Movement is controlled, bending the elbows and extend. Bring it in and extend. Bring it in and extend. Bring it in and extend. last two and one and you're done great job go ahead and bring your feet onto the mat reaching the arms up and over your head give yourself a big stretch here allowing the dumbbells to bring your arms even further down and once you're ready exhale roll yourself up and come on up to the middle of your mat into a seated position with your feet crossed in front of you grabbing both dumbbells in your hands and extending the arms out. Pull the navel into the spine. Let's begin to arm circle forward. One, two, three, little circles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going, little circles so you're really feeling this in the shoulders. Five, five, four, three, two, one. That's 20. From here, go ahead and just breathe. Hold those arms out to the side. Do not let them drop. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And from here, let's bend the elbows. Face the palms of your hands towards the screen. Bring the palms down, up, extend out to the side, and center. Again, drop those hands down and open. Now you're just moving from the shoulders. So your elbows are staying directly in the same position the whole time. Good, and open. Center, point the palms down, center, extend, and in. This is a great exercise to work those rotator cuffs, strengthening the shoulders, the arms, toning the entire upper body here. Keep going. Center, extend, and bend. Point the hands down, center, extend, and bend. Last rep, and center, extend, and bend great job bring those elbows together now don't drop them just pulse them up two three four five six seven keep going eight nine ten more ten nine lift eight seven i'm with you on this one five four breathe through it three two one awesome extend those arms out hold it there do not let those arms drop extend the elbows circle it back 20 times two we're almost done guys three four five six seven breathing eight nine you got ten more to go ten nine eight seven little tiny circles from the shoulders and four three two one one and you're done great job go ahead and release the hands shake them out release the wrists just give them a nice little shake crisscrossing the arms over and back letting go of any tension in that area all right let's grab both dumbbells and work those triceps a little bit more so hold on to the weights with both hands bring the arms up hug your face with your elbows from here extend and just bring it down extend the elbows bring it down try to keep those arms close to the side of your face simply extend the arms bend the elbows extend and bend extend and bend all the work happens from your triceps keep going a few more times at your own pace extend and bend extend and bend keep the core engaged breathe through it
Got a few more to go here. Extend the arms, bend the elbows. Extend and bend. Last one. And release. Wonderful job. Grab onto those dumbbells with both hands and then drop them down along the side of your mat. And then from here, let's come on over to our cobra stretch. So bring yourself over to your mat. Come on down to both elbows and then drop the belly to the floor. Baby cobra here. No effort, just stretching out your core, your shoulders. Opening up through the heart center, looking up towards the sky if that's comfortable for you. Deep breath in and let it go. Just stretch it out. You can keep your feet apart. One more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we got our last two exercises to go here. Let's come on up with our hips. You are going to extend into a dolphin. Deep breath in. On your exhalation, bring it down into an elbow plank. And I want you to hold this elbow plank here. Just breathe through it. Pulling the navel into the spine. Nice straight line with the body. Now from here, let's lift the hips back up into our dolphin. On your exhale, we're going to do another set of our dolphins. Bring it down. Bring it up and exhale down. And just like we did at the start of our workout, see if we can go a little bit lower than just the plank position. This is going to engage the shoulders even more. Bring it down. As if you're trying to touch your belly and the chest to the ground and then pushing yourself back into dolphin. Bring it down and push yourself up with control. Bring it down and push and plank and up and plank and up last one bring it over to plank now come on up onto your elbows make sure you're nice straight position open up those feet if you need to our last exercise of our practice today just an elbow plank i want you to breathe through it you're almost done i know you are tired i know your arms are exhausted but just push through this last exercise for me you can do this breathe through it Hold and follow your breath. Stay focused, last few seconds, and you are done. Wonderful job. Go ahead and bring yourself down to your knees, and let's take our puppy stretch here. So simply releasing the chest all the way down, walk your knees a little bit further away from you, bending the elbows, hands together, and just releasing into this posture. Feeling the stretch not only in the triceps, but also along the upper back and the chest. Keeping your hips on top of the knees and just breathe. Allow the chest to release all the way down. Inhale and exhale. Great, and again, deep breath in. Exhale. With each exhalation, allowing the chest to come down a little bit further towards the mat. Letting go into this posture and allowing your body weight to take you further and further. Wonderful. Let's slowly release the hands. Roll forward. Come on up into your all fours position. You're going to open one arm, thread it through, drop the shoulder to the floor. And then from here, see if you can square off the shoulder. So you're reaching forward with one hand and then the other arm is in between the chest and the mat. Again, this is a great stretch to release any tension out of the shoulders, out of the arm. Breathing deeply. Your hips are remaining to stay on top of your knees here. And readjust yourself a little bit if you don't feel the stretch as deep as you like. Square off the shoulders. Try to get that right shoulder all the way down to the floor so you can be completely square with your body. Great, another inhale. Exhale. Great, one more inhale. Long exhalation out as you come out. Release the hand down. Let's take it to the other side. So now the other arm, right arm reaches up. You're going to thread that arm through. Drop the shoulder to the floor. 
and then reach the other arm forward. Getting into a comfortable position where you can feel the stretch and hold it there. Great, just breathe. Try to get both shoulders completely square with your hips, facing towards the front of your mat, reaching forward with the other hand, and breathing deeply, feeling that deep release through the shoulder, through the entire arm. Let's take another deep breath in and exhale out. And again, one deep breath in through your nose. Long exhale out as you come out of this posture. Come on over to both hands and knees. Sitting back over to your heels, child's pose. And then taking your arms behind your back, interlacing the fingers, extending the elbows, and see how high you can lift those arms up to the sky getting a deeper stretch into the shoulders as we're staying in this child's pose for a few breaths. Deep breath in and let it go and hold. Staying present with your breath, with each exhalation, allowing yourself to let go of any tension you might feel in your body. You did an amazing job today working your shoulders, your arms, your upper body. So I hope you're proud of yourself for sticking through the entire class and pushing yourself to the next level. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Slowly release the arms. Reach the arms forward into your child's pose. Round up through the spine and then come on over to a seated position on your mat, feet crossed in front of you. Let's finish off our practice today with two deep breaths. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. And exhale, release. Last final breath of the day. Inhale, reach it up. Hold it here. Hold your breath. Fill those lungs with oxygen. And then exhale, release the arms. Wonderful job. Congratulations on finishing day six. I'm so proud of you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Lots of love and have a great rest of your day. Oh